Hello, my name's Mrs. Duardoth and I'm going to be taking the lesson today. Did you have a go at the practice activity I'd left you? Do you remember you had your two times table and you needed to cover up different numbers on the table to practice learning the facts? Shall we have a go at some together? Oh, what's the missing number? That's right, it's the product. Six twos are twelve. Yes, I've covered a factor this time. Two three times is six. Yes, I've covered a factor again. Two nine times is 18. Well done. You really know your two times table facts. OK, we're going to practice saying our two times table both ways now. And we're going to start with this one. We're going to start together and then I'm going to stop and you're going to carry on chanting all the way down to 12 twos are 24. Do you think you can do that? Of course you can. You're fantastic. Are we ready to start together? Zero twos are zero. One two is two. Two twos are four. Three twos are, four twos are, five twos are, twelve twos are twenty four. Oh, we finished at the same time. That's fantastic. Are you ready to do it the other side now? So this side we say slightly differently. This time it's two zero times is zero. Are you ready? Let's go. Two zero times is zero. Two one time is two. Two two times is four. Two three times is six. Two four times is eight. Two five times is ten. Two six times is twelve. 2 7 times is 14, 2 8 times is 16, 2 9 times is 18, 2 10 times is 20, 2 11 times is 22, 2 12 times is 24. That is brilliant. Well done you. Let's have a look at shoes in groups of two and the equations that we can write that go with them. We looked at this in a previous lesson. So when we have no shoes, we have zero twos. Zero twos is zero. One two is two. Two twos are three twos are six. You know your two times table facts really well. Now let's have a look at it saying the group size first. Two zero times is zero. Two one time is two. Two two times is four. Two three times is six. Can you see that three twos and two three times are in the same place on the number line? We're now going to use the equal sign to show that three twos are equal to two three times. They both have the same product and we've just seen that they both have the same value on the number line. Three twos equals six and two three times equals six. We're going to use our balance image that we've used in other lessons here. Two three times is equal to three twos. Let's have a look at another one together. Four twos are eight. Two four times is eight. Does it matter which side of the balance we write the expression on? That's right, it doesn't matter because they are equivalent. Two four times is equal to four twos. Four twos is equal to two four times. Can you have a look at these two now? And can you think about 
what is the same about the two images and what is different? That's right. The thing that is the same is that they use the same expressions in the equation. 2 4 times is equal to 4 twos. 4 twos is equal to 2 4 times. And the thing that's different about them is the expressions are written on different sides. Now let's look at how we can use what we've learnt to find a missing number. So I've got three twos is equal to, that's right, two three times. What could three twos represent? It could represent socks, three groups of two socks two socks three times. Now it's your turn. I'd like you to have a go at this. Can you have a look at the picture? Hmm, that's right. They're two pence coins. How many two pence coins do I have? Yes, so four twos are equal to, hmm, what's the product? And two, four times, what's the product there? Can you pause the video and have a go at writing these equations? Did you say that four twos are eight and two, four times is eight? Well done. Now, the product is the same. So what's the expression that should go in this box here. Four twos are equal to two four times. That's right. What about here? Can you start by writing the equation out? What is my product? Pause the video. Did you say that five twos are 10 and two five times is 10? Fab. Can you fill out the missing space then? And what is the expression that goes on this side of the equation? Have a go. Did you say five twos is equal to two five times? That's fantastic. You can see that they have the same value because they have the same product. Here's your turn to have a go now. Pause the video and see if you can work out the missing information. Can you write out the whole equation? Off you go. Did you have a go at that? Can you explain how you know which missing numbers go where? Let's have a look together. I know that the expressions on either side of an equation are equivalent because of the equal sign. So that means that six twos is equal to two six times. Did you get that one correct? Excellent. So here I can see that there are again two expressions on either side of the equal sign. So they must have equal value. That means that this must be two. Twelve twos are equal to two twelve times. What's the missing number here? That's right. Seven twos are equal to seven twos. That one tried to trick you there, didn't it? Well done if you got it correct. Let's have a look at the last one. Here, we want to write the expression that is equal to two times two. That's right, it's two, two times. 
Well done if you got all of those correct. I've got a practice activity for you to do now ready for next lesson. You can pause the video and you can write the question out or get an adult to help you or you can just write out your explanation. Let's read it together. Always, sometimes or never true. Factors can be written in any order. Is that always, sometimes or never true? Five is a product in the two times table. Always, sometimes or never true. Products are written first. Always, sometimes or never true. Remember, can you explain your answer? Can you tell me why you think it is always, sometimes or never true? And I'm just going to leave you with a challenge today. It's a spot the odd one out. So I want you to have a look at these equations carefully and spot the equation that is the odd one out. Can you write a little sentence to explain why it is the odd one out? Well done for all your hard work today. I've been really impressed with your knowledge of the two times tables and how we can write them in two ways.